right. And with that, we are here. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm going to be taking a slight break from doing Fire Giants. Um, I want to change up the palette a little bit. So um, this gal is going to take just a little break there. Hello, Making Tangles. How are you doing today? So if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to be working on something a little bit different. I kind of want to finish this uh, giant up. If I manage to finish this on stream, I have another giant that's also still only mostly finished. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Let me grab my webcam settings here. I think I could still fix this up a little bit. No, nope, that's too close. There we go. That's a little bit better. Have a good day. Set to go back. I didn't put anything in the laundry. Here, give me one second. I'm gonna have to be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that there. Just had to do a quick little thing there. Oh, you guys have lost the music. Let me fix that. There we go. And how is the audio? Is the audio okay, guys? Hello, Wolf Pal or Parable. How are you doing today? I am doing well need to figure out what I want to do next on this giant. So I got to do is booties, but I started this up here and should finish that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. What do you guys get up to? Making tangles? It's pretty late in the day for you. Did you have a good one? I don't know whereabouts in the world you are, so I don't know if you are late in the day, early in the day, but I hope you have had, or will have, a wonderful day. Let's see here, where is the overbrush on this? I just want to clean up the lines on here. <clears throat> for the fairy sorcerer okay creating a personal subclass for a game of DD &D. that's fantastic what kind uh, or what edition are you playing making tangles i don't think i knew that you played D, &D. oh that sounds cute i really like that idea 
you're playing 5e oh that's fantastic it's really simple to homebrew stuff for 5e they made it very customizing friendly <coughs> boring day so far. Well, I hope you have a good rest of the day. You've been at work, been busy. <coughs> Maybell is going to be very annoying, but in a cute way. Well, as long as it's cute. <laughs> Sorry to hear that there. Carpal tunnel can be something that's really difficult to deal with. Um, I don't exactly have carpal tunnel, but I do have um, a very, very mild case of arthritis that uh, acts up if I don't uh, use a good mouse. So I have a nice, uh, here I'll show you, I've got this weird angled mouse that really helps for me. Um, so that way I can just rest my hand on it like this and then I just tap. I don't have to like crunch up or anything like that and this really helps out with my arthritis. Again, very mild, but I get it in my, my knuckle joints. are built only to last so long and if we don't take care of them they can uh, start giving us a hard time earlier on that's for certain but I'm glad to hear yours isn't too bad of a case yeah. this is a pretty big model I don't have it varnished yet, I should probably wear a glove just so I don't rub off any paint. Her name is based on the lily of the valley flower, which is pretty, but poisonous. Um, yeah, Maybells, yep. Yeah. I have once written a campaign based off Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls had a very cool storyline. There's some great cartoons out there. Every time I hear this, I think of uh, Steven Universe.
Hello, Earhawks. How's it going? I'm doing swell. Thank you for joining. I am just uh, finishing up um, my blind box storm giant. This was not the unpainted one. Um, I was getting a little exhausted from coloring in the fire giants. So I just needed a little bit of a palette break, you know? Well, it's lovely to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, it's about a world where the magic is being siphoned away, so all the kids that were born with magic are shipped off to Autumn Springs, uh, where there's a camp to help them hone their skills. Love the skin on this guy, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wolf, Par or, uh, Wolf Parable. I want to make sure I pronounce that properly. But yeah, right now we're just doing some detailing. This guy's pretty close to finished. I was hosting, I, I did, uh, last time I was painting him <clears throat> was on my secret stream, uh, which I do in Discord. So, oh, thank you for the follow wolf parable. Oh, well, thank you, M Making Tangles. I think the details are going nicely. see that the light is starting to come in really bright. Just give me a second. We'll just try to adjust for that. There we go. It's a little bit of a sunny day today, so I have to watch what I do. saying is um, I try to make it so that my discord server is worth hanging out in um, by doing things like having uh, secret streams in there um, it's not really scheduled it's just kind of whenever I'm able to do something outside of the regular schedule as well as um, I'm considering doing a server or a, a channel for D and D. So if anyone wants to like run weekly games or anything, we do something like that. For sure. Unfortunately, I can't stay long. It's almost four thirty. About to go to sleep. I saw you were on, so I thought I'd stop and say, "What's up?" Oh, thank you, Earhawks. I really appreciate that. I'm doing okay. Um, it's about twelve twenty here. I've got work in four hours, but I'm painting. I'm uh, getting to see all of you lovely people, so I would say my day is going well so far. My friends were off for a walk today. I wasn't able to really attend because the, uh, the scheduling kind of clashed with my stream. I, all, I do have a Discord wolf parable. If someone could put in exclamation mark Discord, you guys will be able to uh, get a link there. It's also on Twitch. Um, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see it there, unless you're on the app. And hello, evil demon lord. Nice to see you. And you know what? Today is a nice day because I found out um, my favorite streamer, or one of my favorite streamers, um, I should say, can't, can't, you can have more than one favorite, um, is also streaming today. And she usually streams around the same time as me. So near the end, we might be able to raid her. Um, so I'd, I'd like to share her channel, but I don't always have the most number of people in at the end of the stream, so it might only be a couple. I know a lot of you, it's either late or you're at work. <laughs> I stream at a bit of an odd hour. I'm uh, more than aware of that. 
Ugh. Super glue is out to get me, I tell you. I had a bad encounter. Um, so I was assembling my Demogorgon model, uh, the Gale Force 9 one. And I forgot to open the window. I forgot to open the window when I was working on it. So I ended up uh, inhaling a bit too much of the fumes. So I've had a bit of a persistent cough, but it seems to be going down now, which is nice. Um, so a little safety tip in the hobby. Uh, super glue is very, very nauseous. Toxic. It will it will cause you harm. Um, so just make sure you have an open window, or you're in a well ventilated area when you're using it. You grounded your super glue and for not responding, or now it's not responding. There you go. You show you show your super glue. It has to behave. real though it's uh it's powerful stuff all right you're gonna head on over to say hi to pickle well you have yourself a wonderful day your hawks it was lovely to get to see you drop in i hope you have a great day and whatever project you're working on i hope it goes fantastically keep it real perspirator and I did a whole lot of priming I nearly went through an entire can of black actually uh, that doesn't happen very often um, so I was downstairs in our garage we're priming for about what well, must have been three hours um, but I've got whole slew of minis now that are zenithal primed and that's gonna make my life a lot easier uh, i want to do a bunch of painting for um, so that me and my partner can play frostgrave <clears throat> hey no worries you have a good one evil demon lord it was lovely getting to see you I hope you have a great day. I don't know if you're off for work, but whatever it is, I hope you take care. I will, Evil Demon Lord. Thank you for coming in. It's nice to get to see a friend.
see there's quite a few people that I know that have checked in at some point. Nice to see all of you. Even if you can't join in the chat, I just wanted to let you know. It's nice to see you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. working on today. Hello, Legwinless. I am working on a storm giant. I will show you the full thing in just a second here. Ta-da! Looks kind of like a Zeus. Just need to finish up his shoulder pads, decorate his helmet, finish his hair, and then his boots. And I always forget how long this or loud this song is. It's, there we go. Are you painting today, Legwinless? It is fancy. Uh, they have an unpainted version of this model now. Um, I say that because I actually got this one in a blind box. Later on, they used the same sculpt to make a uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Mini. days since you painted. I saw that you had your new minis um, from your Kickstarter. That was super cool looking. I dug those ones. That was very cool. <clears throat> Got any plans for the day today, like when was? good. Uh, a lot of monsters were really well done. Yeah. What was the company that did those ones? I have a list uh, and a spreadsheet on my Discord server. Um, and in there is a list of multiple miniature manufacturer companies. I would love to make sure that I still or that I have them included on that list. Hello, Dungeon Journeyman. 
Nice to see you. Not really know. How about you? Why didn't you go for the walk first with everyone else? I didn't go for the walk because I had I had this. <laughs> this is scheduled. That's why I suggested Sunday. Oh, hello, Jarrett. Nice to see you. Hey, no worries. Nice. Uh, lurkers are welcome. Yeah, there we go. Nice uh, little shout out for the dungeon journeyman. anyone working on any miniature projects if you are feel free to share a link in the chat um, if it's not a discord or Instagram link you might get a timeout if that's the case just let me know ahead of time and I the timeouts like 10 seconds um, it's just to deter bots but um, if you do it, have a link outside of those sites let me know and I will gladly make sure that you uh, don't have to deal with that Just, uh, let me know ahead of time I have a list of uh, whitelisted websites <coughs> without having any issues mostly just the popular ones Facebook YouTube you know but this is absolutely a self-promotion friendly stream want to share and celebrate other people's work
actually, while I'm doing this, before I forget, since most people won't shout out themselves, let's give a little shout out there for Jarrett, my mod. Jarrett has a, is a really cool guy, another fellow Canadian. He does miniature streaming as well. rather sizable and very supportive and friendly community. Why didn't you go for the walk? I wasn't really paying attention to the chat. Uh, too much. I think I was at work at the time. Kid stuff, parent stuff. far for me to make the trips out there when I got house things to take care of. No, that's totally valid. What about your chair? I think they're just out on the the waterfront. Um, there's lots of room for chairs. Well, I haven't seen you in your chair for quite a while, but I haven't seen you too often either, so. I know like a long walk obviously, like actual physical walk would end up resulting in a sore leg, so. There's another walk planned on Sunday, and that one's going to be myself, Nicole, and Lydia. So, if you feel like tagging along, then let me know. You know, what? like, if, you know, you want to take your chair or not, you, or you get tired, I don't mind uh, giving you a push. It's your call, though. I'm not going to give you a hard time if you're not up for it. been trying to walk more often uh, than I have been yet. Yeah, no, ever since you got the, the new leg, um, I, I did notice that you're you're using it a lot more often. So. Oh, I think I get what you mean. Like, you would, you would bring the chair, but you would want to walk, but you would be pushing around an empty chair for a while. I getcha, I getcha. That took me a while to put two and two together. 
Oh, that's right. It's supposed to be like snowing coming up. Oh man, I'm so excited to see some snow. I'm so, so excited about that. Like one less uh, for anyone else who's listening in is uh, one of my best friends, uh, me and him went to high school together actually. And then we both moved to the, uh, well, in the same area later on. So it was, it was very nice uh, getting to have uh, a familiar face from uh, the past. Very friendly familiar face. Sometimes a troll, but for the most part, friendly. <laughs> you had to make the drive from Kelowna. Oh yeah, if you have to drive in the snow, that is so pretty fun. to share this story this is great so a couple stories actually so like unless um in the discord server which you should totally join by the way if you're not already in there um we were having a conversation about conspiracies and you just like the fun kind not not like the like current conspiracies that uh are going on in the states actively um but like you know fun weird ones and it gave me a great idea for a wizard character like who is just paranoid beyond all belief and is like a strong conspiracy theorist but like what the rest of the party don't know so like he'll talk about it all the time he'll ramble on about how uh lizard folk took control of his his local governing body in the the city that he lived in um <clears throat> my pet conspiracy theory is that taylor swift isn't real yeah stuff like that like the the fun harmless ones like or like everyone in the town is having the same dream weird stuff like that right um so the idea is that this wizard who talks about how his hometown was taken over by lizard folk and people were slowly uh you know being turned into meat is actually true um and everyone just thinks because all of like he's paranoid beyond belief that it's it's made up but like he actually like did uh cast whether it was like through a scroll or something like that um did dispel magic on one of them and revealed that they were like a polymorphed lizard folk or something like that and just silly nonsense right um so yeah that was my my plan for the uh for the wizard and i just thought that would be really fun and like every session there would be this new strange conspiracy that maybe i would pull from like an episode of alex jones or something because the guy is rife with madness um and perfect inspiration for a character like that there's one i heard a while back that ricky martin or a lord or something uh we're the same person see like things like that like i love that like you've never seen them together in the same room and it's like oh my goodness come on now it's like the fun things what is it like ancient history or something like that 
that show from the History Channel where they talk about aliens every episode. Like, I love that. That was the first thing I read in the Discord, and it's fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Welcome to the Discord, Wolf Parable. It's a wonderful little community. Very much a just jolly little place. Yeah, things like that. Ancient Aliens, thank you. You know the show I'm talking about. Yeah, or like, you know, he, he, his his wizard hat is like lined with tinfoil. Um, and it's like, just like anything that he thinks is going to like prevent like charm person or something like that. That that deaf character that you were playing was very fun. It, it was a very and it, it made a it made me have to think about certain things on like how in like it it only helped me improve as a DM too. Um, yeah, that was very cool, and, and I'm sure your partner would have a fun time with something like that in a D and D game as well. <coughs> not sick anyone who's wondering not sick it's too many uh super glue fumes i was doing a lot of gluing and i forgot to open my window and this was from like two days ago i'm paying the price hobby safely hobby safely oh they live that's <coughs> that's right that was a great movie um i particularly enjoyed you know i should probably grab a glass of tea um in that the the guy that played the main character the actor like kind of turned into a conspiracy not after that film and like would talk about how that stuff was real and that, that that's actually the case here give me one second i'm gonna be right back i'm just gonna turn on some hot water in the meantime, enjoy Ganon. Also, please pardon my mess. Mike. Mikey, how you doing? My other mod is here. Actually, I shouldn't really make like one less a mod to do. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Was he Canadian? I knew that he was a wrestler. That's all I know. And that he was never really the same after that film. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes, uh, he was from Newfoundland. Oh, interesting. What's happening, Mikey? Not much. I'm taking a break from doing a fire giant. Um, and I've, I'm just going to try and finish up uh, the storm giant. And if I have time for it, start finishing my frost giant as well. Just want to change of pace a little bit. Uh, a little bit too much. Uh, repetition and doing the same color scheme too many times um but besides that we were talking about uh fun conspiracies and like not not the dangerous kind that are about like voter fraud the, the that, that's not fun it's actually dangerous um no things like lizard people or like aliens are taking over the planet like you know what, what's happening at 151 and i was mentioning that uh the, the discussion in my discord server had me thinking of like a fun wizard character who is a conspiracy nut and he casts like dispel magic on every single person that he encounters um in fear that they are actually a polymorphed lizard folk hiding trying to overthrow their the society so I, I just thought that was very fun <clears throat> my favorite fun and stupid conspiracy is that Kurt Cobain faked his own death yeah yeah that's that's right I, I had forgotten about that one that was that was a very that was a very uh, dark but like silly one it's like, come on, guys. Really? You really think that's what happened? Like, come on. Um, or what is it? There, there's one about the Olsen twins I can't remember. saying i was riffing that uh if i ever ran out of weird conspiracies for the wizard to be rambling about i could always just watch like 15 minutes of alex jones and some nonsense would show up Tupac is still alive. Avril Lavigne was replaced. No. Really? Oh, goodness. Is it because she went from punk rock to pop? Is that why people thought that? Oh, my goodness. Paul McCarthy was he died and replaced. Okay. Have a good one, uh, Making Tangles. It was nice to have you in and partake with our, our nonsense today. <laughs> she was always pop, yells at Cloud. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess she was always pop, but she went like from like punk pop to like pop pop. Weird. It, it, it was a strange transition. I think that was also when she got married to, uh, what's his name from, uh, Nickelback. Both are Canadians. Uh, they lived actually in Richmond, I think, for a while. Um, or maybe it's Abbotsford. They, they lived like a stone's throw away from whereabouts I live. <clears throat> 
girlfriend is a jam. Doing these in copper, I think I was. And now I did gold. Oh well. It happens. What you gonna do? Chad Chald Krunger. Chad Kruger, yes, that thank you. Chald Krunger. It's like a bizarro Chad Kruger. Maybe people like Chald Krunger. And they don't say that he just just accuse him of sounding like Creed. <laughs> I disagree that they are Canadian royalty. <clears throat> There's only one Canadian king, and that's Brett the Hitman Hart. I do not, is, is that another wrestler? Dungeon Journeyman? Um, I know so little about wrestling, yet alone Canadian wrestling, because we had our own wrestling league. Um, all I know about the Canadian wrestling league was that, uh, what's his name? Dwayne Johnson's father was a Canadian wrestler. The only true Canadian royalty is Rush. There you go. I can go behind that. I love Rush. GSP? What is GSP? <clears throat> I'm not a good Canadian, guys. I don't watch hockey. I'm probably the worst Canadian that you not an example of a true Canadian. <clears throat> Let's see here. I should probably change up my brush so I don't destroy it. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> George St. Pierre. should go make that cup of tea now that the water is most certainly boiled. Oh, hello, Ganon. Here. I'm gonna go get that. Oh, and then there's Gretzky. Yeah. Yeah, there's Gretzky. I, I'm sure a lot of us would say that Gretzky is royalty. I'll be right back.
There's also that uh, Canadian astronaut. What, what What's his name? Chris something. Chris Ruff. What's his name? I gotta look this up now. Canadian astronaut Chris Chris Hadfield, that's it. I mean, those are the kind of Canadians I get excited about. <clears throat> Chris Ruff, also the first dog astronaut. I don't know if there's jokes in there or not. <laughs> also, I, um, is, is that true? I thought Russians sent dogs into space. Or did they just send them into a vacuum chamber to see what happened? Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> Got a bunch of rascally dads in my chat. <laughs> They're teaming up against me. <clears throat> Belka and uh, Strelka, the real first dogs in space. And there you go. And were they Russian or were those American dogs? I know the space race was between Russia and the U.S. <clears throat> and with the names, it sounds like they're Russian. Strelka. Strelka. Soviet had the, the very first thing except landing on the moon. Fun fact, um, there is a refined dust that coats the moon, and the particles are severely agitating, and if I recall correctly, can go through human skin um, and cause significant irritations for a very long time. So there is special footwear um, that was created probably gonna say NASA probably from NASA um, to help cope with that not that we go to the moon very often but um, it's called moon dust the Americans will never let anyone forget <laughs> that they landed on the moon. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But it was Canadians that made the robotic arm that's used by NASA. Landing on the moon was like a gold snitch for the space race. We got it. We won USA. Ugh. Ugh.
<laughs> if we did one thing, let us have it. <laughs> I mean, you guys did more than one thing. I mean, like, you guys have credit for modern d democracy and peaceful exchange of power. Or at least everyone lets you have that, even though, like, Parliament was not a Canadian or uh, American thing that was created. But, you know, we, we, we let you have it. It does have an asterisk. <laughs> that, speaking of the conspiracies, that was a funny one. Where people were like, no, it was filmed, it was faked. It's like, no, there's not really, like... It, like, faking that doesn't really get you anything. It was just cool. Like, there's no reason to fake a moon landing. I would say that uh, the invention of the telephone was a much more significant uh, thing than like a moon landing. And that one was the States too, wasn't it? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that one was an American invention. coming of the Age of Enlightenment, which significantly had to do with uh, coffee. Because before that, people would drink uh, alcohol very, very often, which is a downer. Um, it's a depressant, which, you know, on the contrast, coffee was a stimulant uh, or an upper. And so the regular drinking of coffee resulted in uh, people basically being more active uh, intellectually. And that was a, you know, something that America was the ones to really like bring into a common place. So quite literally, the Age of Enlightenment is thanks to America. Which is funny, right? It's like, you, don't, you wouldn't really think of like, coffee being that significant and it's not like other people didn't drink coffee it's just it wasn't as commonplace at the time um there's a historical event something about getting on a boat and throwing bags or boxes of tea um into the ocean but it was like the boston tea party i want to say i don't know i i don't i'm not going to pretend that I am a historian, but that was related uh, 
as from what I recall hearing. Seuss has some interesting history. Certainly more fascinating than Canadian history. Yeah, it was the Boston Tea, tea Party. Cool, th th that's what I thought, yeah. Despite them not drinking tea, they, if I recall correctly, they were they were coffee drinkers. <laughs> <coughs> ah, speaking of which, I'm gonna have some of my tea. Ooh, that is hot. Maybe I'll have to wait. That's gonna burn my tongue if I drink that. Nope. You know, I preferred it being bronze. Well, actually, yeah, th that was specifically the thing, is that tea was only drinking by the upper class. It was because tea had to be imported. And so the cheaper drink that people would drink would be uh, watered down refined alcohol. So like uh, whiskey and water, um, which also kept those people basically sedated. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that, it's it's very true. It's fascinating. a little disappointing but you know what that's fine that, that's just how things go right we do we make mistakes and we learn so this time I'm gonna go over this ah goodness gracious oh well, that's fine I find most interesting is because of that history for a while um, coffee was associated with being a ruffian's drink for the unsophisticated but frankly it was actually quite the opposite oh thank you very much there for the follow is that oh no it's John liking the stream excellent John, I'm glad you're able to watch it right now um, because I can't even access the Mellow Minis Facebook page right now. I joke you not. Facebook will not open for me. Um, Facebook has actually muted my streams multiple times and I'm wondering if this is their way of locking me out. I need to try on a different device to find out. But I'm glad to see that it is watchable for you. It makes me very happy. But, I mean, Facebook's all about the shadow banning, so... I don't know. If that's the case, I'm not too worried. I'm on multiple platforms, so... Thing, there's no like small detail that I'm clogging up.
So if anyone's wondering why I don't just use uh, copper over the gold, a um, couple reasons. Uh, one, it's just going to be a coppery gold. That that uh, gold sheen is still going to show through the copper, um, making it a little harder to see. So I'm going over it with black first. Um, this is both going to hide that um, gold reflection as well as help in uh, making the copper, when I paint it back on, more reflective. It'll be a brighter copper. Less dull. I kind of like that black and copper look. So I'm going to try and get that back. I think it works a lot better with the uh, green than the gold because at its base, copper is more of an orange color. And so making it more complementary to the green than the yellow gold is. And that's how we can make use of complementary colors without having to be um, Christmas looking. <laughs> There we go. Mm, tasty. Now that is dry. Looks like it's a little darker. I can increase the exposure just a little bit.
looks like butts right now. Super streaky. Take care of that.
by the way, if anyone ever wants me to demo how I do certain things or has any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to do little demonstrations. Um, I might not be able to do the exact thing you're requesting very well, but I can at the very least try and maybe help explain how to approach it. brush too much. Ruining the line. building just shook from the construction. That's not very fun. They are really going at it. You guys can't hear the construction, can you? I hope not. If you can, I'm sorry. Based off how the mic is jerking around, I think you can hear it. How's that? Is that better? less background construction noise. Hopefully. No, we can't. Good. I am very glad to hear that. Because it is loud.
this cat hair here? Get out of here. You're out of control here, cat hair. So, just wanted to say for those who are here, even if you're not active or talking, I just want you all to know how much I appreciate all of you. This last year has been really hard on me. <coughs> yeah. Sorry for the long pause there. I had to sneeze. Um, I've really struggled to socialize. Um, this pandemic has made me very, you know, unwillingly put a lot of distance between myself and a lot of people. Leg one less, side, side transfer being two of them. And it's not because I'm wanting to, more so that my energy to be able to do much of anything has been non-existent. Like, I... I suffer from depression, and already it's... It is already quite the hurdle for me. And... You know, not to sob story of anything or anything like I just I want you all to know that the people who do come in here and engage it, you mean a lot to me um, oh thank you for oh Nicole is here hello Nicole you know I being able to do anything really just period has been remarkably difficult for me and you know to come out and do the stream doesn't take a whole lot of energy from me um, and lately kind of feels like the only thing I can do in my mental state so for those who come in say hello and hang out it means the world to me Again, like that's that's all I can do right now. So to spend your time socializing or saying hello and, and thank you for the bless you. Um, it's definitely made me feel a lot less uh, isolated. And I know, like I obviously I know, Chris. You can you can just go make a phone call. 
talk with your friends. It, it's it's hard to explain how challenging that actually is for me right now. So I just wanted to thank all of you. And let you know that I deeply care about all of you, including my friends who I haven't been talking with. I just, I, I know I haven't been a very good friend this last year because my ability to put, invest energy into anything, it's just, it's, it's gone. not doing nothing but the the activities that I am doing are ones that take no energy from me simply put because I have no energy to be able to give you know, near the beginning of the pandemic I I can, can completely relate. Oh, thank you, Rifkin. I appreciate that. Uh, lucky Loki, thank you for following. <laughs> um, like, early on, like, I... With a couple of my friends, uh, Legolas being one of them, I would, you know, go online on Messenger, and, uh, you know, we would hook up this weird camera setup thing so that we could play Magic together. And that kind of died off because I very much wholesale on my part. I just, I, even though I was having fun and like this was me being able to talk with my friends, I wasn't able to keep up with it. And like I am very, very drained. It's, I, it's hard to describe just how how deep the well of that goes. And I know that by no means am I the only person who's like that. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm able to still stream is because I know that by no means am I alone in that endeavor right now. And so if I can give, you know, a little stream, a little happy place where we can take a break from everything, you know, you know, in the chat, and they don't have the energy to message or say hi, I completely understand and relate with that 100%. I, there's no expectation here. Uh, if you say hello, thank you. If you just can't be bothered, I get it. It's okay. You know, come hang out, relax. Give yourself a breather from the things that are stressing you out. So that's my, uh, my little two cents on mental health right now. And uh, me at the same time thanking you guys for just being here to hang out. It's a little scary right now. It's been scary for a long time. It's getting better. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There are vaccines that are in production and have already started getting administered. You know, thousands of people are getting vaccinated. Thousands and thousands, like hundreds of thousands of people are getting vaccinated. And that's hundreds of thousands of people who are not gonna be able to spread the virus. So things are getting better. We don't have to stay in this dark place forever. So take care of yourself. Whether that's reading a book or listening to some music or going for a walk. Um, you know, 
self-care isn't always just pampering and spoiling ourselves but also doing the things that we need to do that might be a little different stand taking out the trash but i have to do it and you know the place is nicer when i do no no bad smell that bothers me things are pretty dark south of the wall i get where you're coming from yeah no exactly it's we're all we're all having a, a hard time i totally forgot to thank you the other day for reaching out and inviting me to your discord personally it means a lot thank you hey no worries lucky loki you know whenever i see you there are some nice people and i really mean that like i i reach out to people that look like they're you know good um i i do a lot to try and make sure that my discord is just as safe of a place as my streams are because there there's lots of people of all sorts um in my in my discord server and i want to make sure that they st continue to feel safe because a small handful of them have told me that my Discord server is the only place in Discord that they hang out, or that it's one of the only three servers that are a member of. Like, like I'm in, I'm in over forty servers myself, but I I only spend a lot of time in a few of them because sometimes people are kind of, to put it, you know, bluntly, they can be a bit gross. They can be. There can be misogynistic people that are hanging out in otherwise wholesome servers or sometimes those people that are a little less tasteful are the admins of those servers um, and i i do everything i can to make sure that my server is nothing like that um, my i want to make sure that my server is and my streams are a, a safe place for people of all genders, sexualities. You know, you're not going to see people talking about, you know, just treating other humans like meat. Um, so, yeah. They can be, dare I say, people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I... Um, ranges. <laughs> Good and bad. Um, and I try to keep the bad ones out. Because, I mean, I don't have time for it. I, I, I don't have the patience or energy. I operate on a... Uh, you know, an judgment system that I, you know I get that sometimes people have bad days I, I want to make it clear I understand that sometimes people have just bad days where things are you know they might be a little more irritable and they might react badly so I try to give everyone one chance you know hey don't be like that or else they ban you, you know, if they cut it out they cut it out they don't, they go away. There is a blue there, a little blue. They can be, dare I say, poopy. Oh, they're poopy. Yeah, no, people can be poopy. I see. Yes, people can be poopy. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> People poopy. They, from a distance, if you're a little tired, uh, they they can look like the same word. <laughs> the only channel where it's okay to talk about people like meat is the cannibal one. Yeah, yeah, that 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 exactly. You know. You know, and, and even then, you know, you'd be respectful of them. Like, you know, make sure they're comfortable beforehand. 
well taken care of. So otherwise the meat's not gonna be any good. <laughs> By the way, does anyone want to see the Demogorgon model? It's fully assembled. It's not primed. It's not painted, obviously, but if anyone wants to see my latest new toy, I am happy to share it for anyone who wants to see it. I was surprised I was able to get it on a Boxing Day sale. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Free range, cage free, cruelty free. Yeah, yeah. I want my I want my cannibals to be cruelty free. Yes. Okay. Cool. I'll be right back. I almost tripped and fell. That would have shattered this like glass. There we go. So, here's the Demogorgon. So, what I find fascinating about this, so, this is a huge base. Um, and I use huge as in the D&D &D term, uh, which means it is a four inch base, if I recall correctly. Let's see. Medium is one, large is two. Okay, huge, huge is three. So this is a three inch base. Um, and a four inch base, I don't think I have any four inch bases within sight. Um, so a four inch base would be, let's see here. So three inch covers it like that. Now these tiles are one and a quarter inch each um, so it's a little bit bigger but you would expect a four inch base to be from here to here this demogorgon oh don't pick him up by there because he's not glued down there <clears throat> from what i can tell appears to be a five inch base which suggests that if for anyone who played third edition um would mean that this Demogorgon mo model is not gargantuan, but is in fact colossal. For anyone who uses those old terms, so they uh, discontinued in 5th edition. I don't know if they were in 4th or not. Been working on a diorama the last three days, and it's turning out better than I imagined. Even though I am missing paints and that my airbrush is acting up, it is so nice. I'm so happy to hear that, the Lucky Loki. It always it's always nice when something turns out <coughs> the way that um, you expected or the better better than you expected and just for me to double check here do, 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 do. Have I seen photos of your diorama, the Lucky Loki? I saw a Slayer's um, diorama, and that looked that was coming along really nicely. If you have photos, please feel free to share in the uh, the Discord server. I haven't shared it on it yet. Give me a sec. Oh, I, I would love that. But yeah, so with this uh, Demogorgon model, if you want to see some of the up-close details, let me face the claws. We've got these long tentacles. We've got these really cool chest stripes. Like, everything's very textured. Uh, we've got all these scales wrapped around crushing time for me to pick up the children talk to you soon bye bye we've got these carvings in here and then when we go over to the back oh it's not connected in there there we go <clears throat> got all these back warts all move like that 
so you can see the spikes a little bit better. He's fantastic. I'm very, very excited to uh, get around to painting this. This is going to be definitely a bit of a challenge. I love how he's like wrapping his tendrils and it's crushing. Like this is such a dynamic pose. I, I love it so much. And uh, my four scale, it's not Sir four scale, but four scale. Um, what's up, dude? Hey, Scotch and Hobbies. I am just showing my Demogorgon that I just finished assembling. Um, this is the one from Gale Force 9. And, ooh. You can't share the direct link. Let me fix that for you there to the Lucky Loki. Gotta go here, exclamation mark, regular. Add the Lucky Loki. There you go. You're not gonna get a timeout now. Let's take a look at that link. Ooh, got some Tyranids there. Got some Space Marines that are knee thick in mud. It looks like maybe there was a, some kind of crash or a mudslide. I'm digging it. Digging it a lot. That's very cool. <clears throat> All right. Oh, we've got a second link there. Is that the same one? Oh, no, that's the same image. Okay. I really like what you got going there, Lucky Loki. Call it Diglet Marines. Oh, I love that. Diglet, Diglet. Tell me you've got a Doug Trio that's going to go along with it. I like how the one is just legs that are sticking out. That that gives me a lot of laughs. is on now okay you know what lucky lucky thank you so much i will um be raiding uh Gika in an hour actually from now because i was very happy to find out that she streams on the same wednesday that i do so and i think the people who enjoy my streams will thoroughly love giggling Gika. she is just the sweetest person See you then. Bye-bye.
There we go. You know what? I am loving those shoulders. Are those not cool? <coughs> uh, T. Such a good tea. It's like a breathe easy, I think is what it's called. Tastes like it's got a little bit of licorice in it. Licorice, licorice is the devil's root. No! Licorice sticks are delicious. Not, not like black licorice the candy, like actual licorice. I think licorice is delicious. It's got like this herby sweet flavor to it. It's very sweet. There was a health food store in my hometown where you could buy licorice sticks, like dehydrated licorice sticks, and then you could, when you snap them, all this dust comes out, and then you could just chew it for hours. Oh, it was so good. agree with you there yeah no I, I yeah black licorice is delicious it is it can be <laughs> it really depends because North American black licorice and like European black licorice oh man is there ever a difference in the intensity of flavor Oh. Ah. Um, not sick just in case because I, I know you just jumped in there uh, Scotch and Hobbies um, I forgot to open the window when I was assembling my um, Demogorgon model and so I am getting the severe uh, repercussion of for super gluing in without sufficient uh, ventilation. Because boy, oh boy, the repercussions are real. <clears throat> yeah, I can't be Black Twizzler. <laughs> Although I prefer nibs. I prefer my red licorice, at least. Let's see. Give me one second. I'm just going to blow my nose and I'll mute that. Really never had a problem with glue or Tamiya uh, thing in my basement with no windows, but it's a rather lurk. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so I didn't used to have any issues with it, but um, long-term exposure to the fumes in, because um, I, was, I was doing some reading on it, so like trying to find out why like for a full solid day I was suffering so much with uh, coughing and uh, plugged sinuses and the like. And so what I found out is that long-term exposure to the fumes in super glue can actually result in you getting a allergy to it. And like usually like when I'm assembling like a small model, it's not so so big of a deal, but like um, I had to use a fair bit of super glue on Demogorgon because he's so large, right? Um, and the same thing happened to me when I was building my, uh, God, I think it's a hundred percent scale, um, my Tarask, uh, which is a big 3D printed model. Um, but yeah, no, likewise, beforehand, I never experienced issues with these, um, I'm in a pretty small room, and usually I would have my window open. But yeah, um, so I'm having to adapt a little bit, change up how I do my model assembly now. But I mean, you know, this is my lesson learned. Um, I mean, like we all know that there's uh, VOC, what is it? Uh, volatile I can't remember the O and then compounds in like super glue but uh, I never quite had it this bad before so but, you know that's that's them's the breaks as they say <clears throat> um, but apparently there is a brand of super glue. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it works just as well. Um, it's called Better Glue, and they're advertised for having less, um, less odor, less volatile compounds, yada, yada, yada. Um, hopefully, like, I mean, as long as it sticks, right? Like, like as long as it has a good, co uh, What's the word? The word for a glue, a sticky glue. <laughs> um, as long as it's got good stick to it, then I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mentioned this room, probably something like 15 by 30, maybe a bit bigger. Um, let's see here. I do not know the dimensions of my room at all. But if I had to guess, um, maybe 15 by 15? Maybe 15 by 15. <clears throat> by the way, I how are you liking streaming Scotch and Hobbies? I know that uh, you started streaming. I haven't been able to attend any of your streams yet. But I do see the notifications. You know, let's do a little shout out for you. to see you. How is your walk? Are you guys already finished? Or are you just dropping in and saying hello? Kairos is one of my other best friends and a member of my D&D &D group. You guys just finished. Oh, that's wonderful. I hear my partner in the bathroom. Or not the bathroom, the kitchen. I see that she is back as well. 
Yeah, sorry I didn't make it. I missed your guys' discussion about it, um, for the most part. I think I was at work. <clears throat> but I can do the Sunday. But I know that Sunday you're working. It's all good. Yeah, I've got my I got my schedule, and this you know this is my my tiny social life. But I was just uh, going on earlier about uh, how I have so little energy anymore. Um, I'm not really able to do many of the things I used to be able to do. Like, early on in the pandemic, I was working on projects and stuff. Um, and, you know, they, they were cool, they were fun, they kept me busy mentally, but I don't even have the energy for those anymore. I'm just... I want to go back to a normal life. I'm uh, very, very impacted by it. <clears throat> but, you know, light at the end of the tunnel so many people getting vaccinated we've got the vaccines going out we will see life return to normal soon enough needed a walk yeah no the walks are good maybe i can go out for a walk once a week maybe that's something i can try to do i'm like a very lazy dog like a super low maintenance dog You're like all right chris time for a walk oh okay <clears throat> Ooh, you're making kimchi are you gonna ferment it or are you gonna do like a quote-unquote fresh kimchi fermentation all oh fermented all the way oh yeah no no you gotta have it uh, i'll be honest i was a little worried you were gonna tell me that you were not going to ferment it but all that worry is past now really need to try making some sauerkraut Love sauerkraut. And I've seen some really cool recipes online on how to make it. Yeah, no, exactly. That that's how she goes, right? You do it, and then you wait, and you find out if you did it successfully. Well, I mean, and of course you have to. But, you know. <clears throat> Man, Kairos, by the time this is all finished, our D and D games are gonna have so many minis. So many. Oh, so you're not going to use fish sauce.
cool stuff. You can't really taste the fish sauce in it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, man, I primed like for three hours last night. Uh, just a big batch priming session. I want to. Hello. You can't find your card? No. Um, you no, did. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, uh, the number. Oh, oh, hey, 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 close that door. <laughs> you don't want to say the number on uh, mic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need people to hear what her credit card number is. No, that would be very bad. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, goodness. That was a close one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Scotch, what are you guys working on right now? You got any uh any fun projects you're working on right now? Miniatures for a frostgrave theme. But <clears throat> I want to uh finish up what I'm working on first already. <clears throat> Building a Mornfang pack. Oh, GW. That's cool. Hope you're looking forward to that. Where did you guys go for your walk? To go somewhere exciting? 
Or do you guys just do the uh, the waterfront? Last few models built by the weekend to be able to play a game with your new army. How oh, exciting! Just along the waterfront. That's a nice walk. That's a very nice walk. All right. Oh, he's looking cool. I'll have to use some inks to tone down all the brightness on it, but I'm excited. only closing the door for uh, your phone call. Oh, uh, okay. Um, here, give me a second, guys. I'm just going to, uh, I'll be right back. All right then, so I'm back. Sorry about that, just had to take care of something. 
that is being sorted out. So let's start taking care of some of these parks that are unpainted. Ooh, you're dehydrating vegetables, Kairos. That's exciting. I didn't know that was a part of the process. Did you pick up a dehydrator for it? Most of this liquid, it's 
We have our process. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's a, that's a chemical way of doing it. going to coat the leather on these two bits here. And then I'm going to call her quits so I can take care of just a couple of things. Um, that will be sure to send us off for a raid for a wonderful stream. That I'm sure anyone who enjoys my streams is going to enjoy. That's right, Ganon. You be grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> 